This is an overview of the script. Uh, there's four main sections of it. There's the intro, there's the data object, and there's a section where you create a variable for each bone. Then there's a loop at the bottom that loops through once for every frame. The loop will read in a file, send it to the object. The object will convert the data into suggested and positions and rotations for the bones and return them. And then the, the variable for each bone will be assigned its position and rotation. So in order to modify this to work with your rig, if you desire to do so, you don't need to change the object, you just need to change the setup, modify the variables to, to reference your bones for your rig, and then set the positions and keyframe each of your bones. This is a geek moment because I'm gonna be talking about the script and if you, uh, like Python, you may enjoy the section, but you may not. But I was really surprised to learn that there's a JSON library built into the Python script inside of Blender. Geek moment, so cool. Anyway, um, that meant that I don't have to add any libraries to the Python, like when I'm talking RS-232 or anything. So you just say import JSON at the top, and you can natively read JSON files. It's pretty cool. Um, the file identifier is the name of the file you're going to put you, uh, that you uh, captured under open pose and this is your armature's name and then uh, this first parameter here is going to be the earlobe to earlobe distance of your character you can measure in edit mode two vertexes one on each earlobe write down their x coordinates or the and then subtract the two with a calculator and figure out how far apart the earlobes are from each other this is the starting frame that the script will apply animation to. I made a separate keyframe, one for the mouth and one for the eyebrows, which is these two. You want to keyframe the mouth more because it moves quickly. And I like to have less keyframes on the eyes because basically then it smooths out. You don't see the eyes fluttering in every frame because it's got jitter and where it's detecting the eyelid. And this is the number of frames to transfer. I usually just set this really, really high because the script will automatically stop when it runs out of JSON files. So if you want to just transfer all of them, just set this to some really high number. Um, the rest of this stuff is pretty straightforward. These are all my math functions, so don't touch those. They basically average two points or do whatever. Um, this is an object class that you would should never have to touch too much. It's, it's just a... Um, it's, a, it's an object in Python that reads in the data. When you're doing the captures, it's a good idea to have your face just totally relaxed and staring at the camera. And the script will actually go in and figure out that that's the rest position for your face. So you don't want to be smiling when you, when you start the capture. Um, the rest of all this stuff is internal to the class. Um, so the class has these functions that you can like get the lower lip center position and get so you call all of these methods to get the positions out of the class the in open pose they actually have points on the face that are defined and if you go to the open pose um, website you can actually look and see that they they tell you that for instance point 57 and 66 um, are going to be the center lip points and I made the function read in both points and it'll average the two. So anyway, I'm showing you the internals to the class. If you didn't understand any of that, ignore it. <laughs> it's all geek fun. So anyway, um, this lower section basically picks out all of the, of the bones in your rig. So we say like the head bone is the destination armature and it's named head. So you put, if your rig has different names for each of its bones, you put them all into here. This while loop is the while loop that runs through and it runs once for every JSON file. So you can ignore all this stuff. It's just reading the file and doing a bunch of initialization stuff. And I know this is super technical, but it's super fun. You haven't lived until you've Pythoned. So anyway, um, Basically, the rest of these are your bread and butter. Like these, these are just the angles that you set your your um, your bones with on these three. These are the only ones that get angles. 
the rest of them all get their location modified. So this P1 is the name of the object above and we get the lower lip center position, the, the methods in the thing, the lower lip center jaw position uh, is right here. So that's the object receiving and you're, you're, you're running this method down here to, to get the position from the object and, and basically say the offset for the lower lip center's location in X and the, the script actually returns two points. And so uh, the first point is the translation in X and the second point is the translation in from the from the video's point of view vertical up and down which to blender is z so we set the x and z locations offsets with these two um, commands here and this is the correction factor so let's say you wanted the lip to go a little higher and it be more exaggerated you would make that like two and it would double the translation but if it's too exaggerated you could make it 0.5 and it would make the, move, the, the lip move a whole lot less. I left them mostly at one. And then the last thing you need to do is this is where it keyframes the two things. So you have to have a keyframe, a keyframe row for every single one of your bones where you say in Blender, when I get to this frame, I want to keyframe this one and keyframe this one and keyframe this one, the location. So this is all the location keyframes. And that's the whole whole script. This this last portion just in, increments the, the current frame and then flies back up to the top and keeps going until it runs out of JSON files. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to modify the script to work with uh, your rig. And I'm only going to do one or two bones just to show you how to do it. So I'm going to delete the default cube, which we always do. I'm going to add an armature and I'm going to have it be a single single bone armature so I put it in here and what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that this is the head of your armature so we go to the bone and we're going to call it the head and then what I'm going to do is make it so that I can modify the uh, the text files here so we'll put a text editor in and let's see we have sequencer animation scripting text editor there we go we're going to create a new text editor and we're going to bring in our script okay so I put the script into the text editor like I did from the website but now I've saved it out as a file so I can modify it and save it as I need to and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go what is the name of my destination armature so when I look at this armature its name is armature so I can put the destination armature name in here like that now I'm only going to put a couple hundred frames to capture in here and um, I'm going to save out my text file I'm sorry save out my blend file into a folder with a bunch of JSON files so I can modify and work on it easier and we're going to go to output and we'll do like the intro and we'll go test facial okay so now i'm going to go down to <clears throat> i have one bone called head and if i look down here we've already named the bone head so i'm going to Aha, bonehead. I'm going to comment a lot of this other stuff out, and I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this lower left part because we're only going to do one bone, and I'm going to comment the rest of this stuff, the rest of these out. And then down here, we're going to keep the head angle, but we're not going to do the jaw, the jaw, uh, the jaw bone or the lower face and we're not going to do any of these down here so you can slowly add these and then we're only going to keyframe we're not going to keyframe either of the jaws or lower face bones 
we're going to keep lower lip center and we're going to keep the rest of this or get rid of these comment we're going to comment okay so I've commented everything out except for the head bone and the lower lip bone and then we set the offset of the lower lip bone and the, set the head bone here so now the script is only going to modify and then we've gone up here and only defined the lower lip and the head bone so now <clears throat> if I were to run this script it would do the head but I'm also going to add a lower lip and this was the main point of this so if I go into edit mode on this and I add a bone and I rotate it in the X say 90 so this is going to be my lower lip so now I have two bones and this one is going to be my lower lip um, center bone and I'm not going to use these either okay so this is called lower lip middle so I need to make sure that the name of this bone is the name of this bone so if I go to the bone here I'm gonna make it the same name lower lip middle okay so now my armature has two bones and I have everything commented out except the head bone whose rotation is XYZ and the lower lip center location setting so now I can run the script and see if it modifies the bones the thing I need to make sure of is, is that the X rotation of this bone is perpendicular to the screen. A lot of times you'll have bones in your rig that are like this and the thing you need to make sure of is that see how when it's offset like that the roll is zero? The script is going to try and translate so if I move this in the X and then I move it in the Y it's moving oddly so any bone that you have that's at an angle you need to scale in the X zero scale in the Z zero and then it's perfectly perpendicular to the screen and then what you need to do is zero out the roll that way when the script modifies the position of this bone it modifies it in the position of the bone it's it's doing it with Z being straight up and down and X being left to right. That's critical for the script to work because we're, we're mapping the X and Y and if it's doing it at angles you need to do it at the same angle the camera was shooting the open pose from. So now that we've done that this bone should move properly. If I want to mo modify this bone to actually like move the lip you know with the teeth or something like that I can rotate it in the X a little bit now after I've zeroed the roll and everything else out so so if I hit control Z on that my roll is still zero but I should be okay so now we're gonna run the script and see it applied so I'm gonna go back out to pose mode and we will click on this guy and we have an error so if I look at line 524 I can see what's wrong I'll go to line 524 on oh, the current frame oh it was because we commented all of those out so what I need to do is comment that guy out too and run the skip script again uh, Python doesn't like you to have an if statement that um, doesn't have any uh, anything that it runs underneath it so I gotta come in both of those out so I'm gonna go ahead and run it see what happens uh, key head not found so I found one problem the problem is is that you have to actually put this intro name into the script so it knows what the prefix of the files it's reading is so right now I have the file identifier as Isaac face and I need to change that to intro now if I run that again I still get another failure so let's see what it is okay after looking for a while I figured out the problem this head is lowercase this head is uppercase 
Okay, that was a bonehead mistake. Yuck, yuck. Okay, so I put the capital H in there, and let's try it again. There it goes. It just ran the script on my new rig that I just created. And if I play it, oops, let's go back to the beginning and play it. If I play it, I can see that the head is twisting and moving like I want it to. And the lip is moving up and down, just barely, you can see it. So it's working. All right. So that's how you modify a script to work with your rig. And now if we create other bones, we can uncomment each line one by one until we have all of the bones that are defined in the script working with our rig. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs>